This is our collector preview night at Toy Fair 2012. We have some amazing, amazing brands out there. We got Dark Knight Rises. We got the 30th anniversary of Masters of the Universe. Voltron is here. We got the Club Infinite Earths. We got WWE Cars. We got the Hoverboard from Back to the Future. I'm going to go through uh, that notes on most of the SKUs or most of the assortments you're seeing. I'll try to clear up a lot of stuff. Everyone post these videos as quick as possible on YouTube, so that way <laughs> fans aren't asking the same questions over and over. And I only have to say things once. All right. Hopefully my notes are thorough enough. So let's see. This is in no particular order, but based on the order that my assistant gave me my the notes in. So starting off, Voltron. So the very first lion, Red Lion, with Lance, goes on sale on the 15th in three days on Maddie Collector. Uh, then, the then the yellow lion will be in April. The green lion with Pidge in June. The blue lion with uh, the princess in August. The Sven figure will ship in August. That's when the blue lion ships, because Sven was the other blue lion pilot. So that way you get all the blue lion pilots. Uh, and he's only available to have the sun. He's the only way to get Sven. And then black lion with Keith will be in October. All right, DCU. So there's a couple things out there. You saw the retail line, the All-Stars. You saw the New 52 Superman Flash and the retail version of the repaint of Supergirl in the black outfit. That'll be the, net, the third wave of retail six inch without the Collect and Connect. And then the Club Infinite Earth, which is the online DC six inch line, will start in April. Uh, so let's see if I have the order right. Uh, let's see. Okay, I don't have the full order, but Rocket Red is the first oversized figure. And then you've got Atrocitus, Golden Age Flash, Mirror Master, the Platinum and Tin 2 pack, the Starman, and uh, Pam, the uh, Poison Ivy. She will have a third vine around her. I think it's a third arm vine. So there'll be a vine around each arm and one around the leg. One of the vines didn't make it. So all of the, the release, I don't have the release dates, I think, on me, but they're all posted on Maddie Collector, uh, which figures a month. Although we haven't released the release dates for Platinum and Tin, uh, Black Mask, forgot to mention him, and uh, who's that third one? I can't see, see people. But all the release dates are on Maddie uh, for which one's coming out in which month. The JLU three packs that you see there, we did, I can't believe we pulled this one off. This was like a last, literally, I think this happened last Wednesday. We were able to get the final approval on making this happen. They're only going to be $30. They're not going to be $50. You will get all six of those last three packs. And when we brought those in uh, to our licensor and to management that we wanted to finally release these last packs, they actually gave us a condition that they would only allow us to do that if we released all the figures. So we're like, OK, great. And we're putting Firefly and Dr. Destiny in there. So Firefly and Dr. Destiny are replacing Superman and Aquaman in the Toy Man pack. That will be the last pack, which I think will be November or December. Uh, and Fire, Dr. Destiny will have the Aquaman arms. That version does not. So we are swapping in the Aquaman arms with the correct uh, cow, not cowl. That's the term for it when you've got the glove thing. Someone have the term? Gauntlet? Well, well, I guess gauntlet works. That was the term I was thinking of, but that works. Gauntlets. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, my brain's freezing up. So he will have the gauntlets. There you go. God bless you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, let's see. The minis, so that will continue. The next wave, wave six, will have Green Lantern with the giant construct cannon. Lars please, the orange lantern with the giant cobra construct. The Atom with Plastic Man glider. And Batman with his Hydro Bat sled. After that, you've got the DC 6-inch 2-packs you see out there. Those are exclusive for Toys R Us. Two different packs. There's Yellow Lantern Hal and Blue Lantern Kyle from War of the Lanterns. And the uh, Nightfall pack with Red Azrael and Batman with the, uh, the damage across his chest. Those will be at Toys R Us. All right, the Young Justice line will continue. Uh, there's a whole bunch of new four and a quarter figures. 
Black Canary, Swordsmaster, Vandal Savage, Robin in black and gray, Aqualad Stealth, Kid Flash Stealth, to make up the Hall of Justice diorama, and then Superman, Artemis, Green Lantern, and Robin. The two packs will continue, and this time will now include a Collect and Connect component, where each of the packs will do three to build up to a larger figure. The first three, which will all ship together in the same Master Cart, so they'll be out at the same time, will be uh, Raish, Al Ghul, and Cheshire, Flash and Kid Flash, and Martian Manhunter and Miss Martian. So all three of those packs are needed to build a Mazo, which stands about I think, five to six inches tall, so he's in scale to the other teams. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, let's see the Young Justice six inch assortment. That will continue with Superboy in his solar suit, Sportsmaster, who comes with a ton of accessories, Kid Flash that has removable goggles that you unplug the little, uh, with the flash lightning bolts and you can plug in the goggle version. And then Batman with his gas bomb. And then finally Guardian with his Sector 6 or a sub-level 6 backdrop with the genome. And Superboy uh, in the, the, the regular version. Our Batman legacy line will continue. You've already seen Batman first appearance and Catwoman at retail, the Golden Age version. Harley Quinn and Nightwing should be coming out pretty soon. And then the two packs will continue with Batman and Catwoman and the Batman and Catwoman in the black and white deco uh, based on the advertising campaign for Messiah. Dark Knight Rises, so the new, the final chapter in Nolan's Batman Dark Knight trilogy. We've got three of the six inch movie masters out there, Catwoman, Bane, and Batman. There'll be six in the assortment and all six will add up to the Collecting Connect uh, bat signal, which really works. We finally figured out the technology to turn light bulbs on in toys. It was amazing. <laughs> so you'll actually be able to turn the bat light, the bat signal on, and it will be the coolest night light you've ever owned. All right, let's see. WWE Legends will continue on Maddie Collector with Andre the Giant, who's available now. The Deluxe Superstar Stands. Then the Diamond Dallas Page and Bundy will be the next, oh, and Arn Anderson will be, the last, will be the next figures. And those will continue throughout 2012. You can see wave 17 of WWE, series 15 of the basic figure two packs, and series 13 and 14 of the Elite Collection that will contain flashback characters which are legendary WWE superstars as well as the current superstars. A whole allotment all the way through the years of WWE will be in this assortment. Toys R Us will have the pay-per-view basic figure assortment. This will celebrate WWE superstars that have made key contributions to the franchise over the years, specifically at the pay-per-view events. Each figure comes with a piece of the backstage playset. You get them, collect them all, and you'll be able to build the entire backstage. So you can be on the ring, backstage, doing the interview, smashing over the head with, with all of the accessories. It's going to be a great way to build out the WWE world. All right, let's see. This brings us to Masters of the Universe. All right, so it's the 30th anniversary of Masters of the Universe this year. So I'll give you a rundown on all the figures that are out there. I hope I'm not leaving anyone out. Temple of Darkness Sorceress. So this is the white version of Sorceress you see out there. So the conventions she will be available at will be, she'll actually premiere at PowerCon, and then will be available at New York Comic Con. We're not gonna be at WonderCon or C2E2. WonderCon, basically, the bottom line is it got moved from the San Francisco area to the LA area, which was a little too close to San, San Diego, and it got moved to March from April, and March was a little too close to this event here. So there just wasn't enough gap. So we will only be at San Diego Comic Con in New York and PowerCon, but she will be available not, she will not be in San Diego. We will have another San Diego exclusive for Masters that really celebrates the 30th. We'll be revealing that in April. And then if there's any stock left over at the end of the year, she'll be available on Maddie Collector. We'll also make her available to any of the other regional Masters conventions. I know there's one in Australia, there's one in Germany. She won't be available until June. So if there's any shows that are before June, we can't, we won't have her in time. But for those running the German convention, just get a hold, you can contact us through Maddie Collector and we can work out to sell to sell a certain amount of stock to you uh, through right through Maddie Collector to make it available. All right, 
So Fisto is the next figure. He's available in three days on February 15th. Shadow Weaver, who is the club figure, will also be shipping in February. Now I should uh, caveat that both Fisto and Shadow Weaver are running three days late. So there's, it's going to take about three to four more days to ship out the February shipment. So for, when everyone sees you know, what's going on in your cart and it looks like your Motu figures haven't shipped yet, it's only because Fisto and Shadow Weaver are just running only a few days short. Not weeks, not months, three days. So thank you for bearing with us on that. Drago Man, the Four Horsemen's 30th anniversary figure, ships in April. Cobra Khan is the monthly figure for March with both heads. Thunder Punch He-Man is the first quarterly figure, even though he's shipping at the beginning of quarter two in April, and he'll come with the first issue of the new miniseries, or the mini comic. There'll be three issues in total. The Griffin will be shipping in June, and please forgive us, for some reason her, his front feet didn't make it to the show, but he will have front feet. We had to, we had to goo his feet. I, they just didn't show up, but they are, he will have front feet. Uh, Stinkor will be in May, along with Slushy. Uh He slipped out a month, so you'll get two Club Eternia figures in May, as well as the Snake Mountain Stands. And the Mighty Spectre, the next 30th anniversary figure, will also ship in May. Horde Prime will ship in June. Snake Man at Arms will ship in June. He will come with the second issue of the mini comic. You can see the cover. Uh, glued down very carefully on the table behind you, because we'll have the second issue of the three-part mini-comic. Spike Orr, our first big reveal for the show, he will be in July. Uh, he will come with three interchangeable hands. We'll have the human hand, you know, I guess it's human, the, the, uh, that'll <laughs> detach like you had in the mini-comic. And then he will have both the long and the short versions of the trident, as well as the club. And his armor is removable, he snaps off, similar to, I guess, Fisto or other characters. And his head will come off like everyone else's. The next figure, Frosta, everyone's been waiting for her, she uh, slipped out to September. So there won't be an August figure of the month. There'll be two in September. We'll be revealing the other September figure uh, probably in a month or two. She will come with both her wand that you see her up with here, as well as a repaint of She-Ra's shield, just like the vintage figure. The shield just didn't make it. The, the, we haven't finished painting it. But if you have the Shira shield, you pretty much know what you're getting. It'll just be in frosted colors, just like the vintage toy. The Snake Men 2-pack. So that's your, one of your fully tooled figures that we were talking about online. Uh, that will have, so you'll have the yellow and the orange flavors of the Snake Men. They'll each come with two different heads with mouth open and mouth closed. They'll each have two accessories. The, the kind of twisty weapons, the snake spear, the snake dagger, the shield, and the club. And they will ship in July. So that is the next oversized item. That's the one of the $40 items for the subscription. Uh, to the next figure, Sir Laserline. That's that uh, blue guy there with the red cape. That's Jeff John's contribution to the 30th anniversary line. So he will be shipping in August and he will include his laser mace, his laser sword, and his shield. Uh, weapons pack number three will ship in August. We're not ready to reveal any of the items in that, but it'll be some, some really cool repaints. We've heard a lot of fan suggestions, so we're still kind of working on what's gonna be in there, but that's gonna ship in August. We thought we'd have it at the show to show, but it just wasn't ready in time. All right, I think that wraps up Masters. Ghostbusters, a Ghostbusters six-inch line. There'll be a total of four six-inch figures this year. Uh, let's see. You've already seen Peter with Taxi Cab Ghost has already shipped. The Rookie is the next figure. You can see the final version of the Rookie with the new goggles. He's got a new belt that has the, uh, the PKE meter and the trap attached to it. And he'll come with the Ghost Trap that Winston came with, but he'll have a new really two-colored red uh, effect that comes out. So he will be in April. Dana will get to a release date for her, but you can see the close to final, at least the painted version of Deco, painted version of Dana is making her appearance. So she'll have two different lower torsos that you can interchange. So you can pop off the top and you can pop her on the sitting position or the standing position and pose her on the uh, rooftop base she comes with. So she comes with base, sitting torso, uh, standing torso, and upper torso. All right, the Back to the Future hoverboard that you see over here. 
Oh, so excited. I think Mattel is pretty much the only company that can do this, because if you remember from the movie, the hoverboard was made by Mattel. I think Zemeckis even did an interview on NBC that he claimed Mattel made hoverboards and parents had to take them off the market. Actually, I know it's out there because it's on the DVD, you can see it. <laughs> Trust me, Mattel did not make hoverboards back in the day. The technology doesn't exist, we tried. But what it will do, it will float or kind of skid across most surfaces. It's going to kind of use the, uh, the technology for furniture pads when, you, when you're moving furniture around, like really heavy furniture. So it will, you know, if, you, if you've got it, you're sitting on the couch and someone comes in the door, you can kind of kick it across the room and it'll float right across your carpet and it'll make that noise that it makes the revolution noise. So I didn't do it quite right. That is just a looks like. It doesn't actually do anything except look really cool. It'll probably be around $120. We're still working on the price point. We'll be able to confirm that in about a month. The way the hoverboard is going to work is it's only going to be available as a pre-order. So we're going to set, take pre-orders starting March 1st through March 20th. That'll be the cutoff. So it will also require a minimum number, much like we did with the DC Infinite Earths Club last year. Although I'm pretty confident we're going to hit the minimum based on the uh, sales for the PK meter and the ghost trap. If you've seen the PK meter and the ghost trap, you know the quality you're going to get. This is going to be an amazing piece. I know we're asking people to pre-order an item they haven't actually seen the way they saw the PK at Comic-Con, but if you've seen our prop replicas, you know the quality you're going to get. It won't ship until the fall. It'll ship in November, October-ish. And again, we'll lock down the price in about a week or two. But the pre-orders on Maddie Collector will be March 1st through March 20th. So spread the word. If people want hoverboards, this is the time to order them. It's going to be amazing. I've been waiting my whole life for a hoverboard. I think some of you have too. All right, uh, wrapping up, we've got some great cars items.